The Uganda police force has confirmed that so far 24 people have died following an incident where a fuel tanker exploded in Chigogwa, Kampala, Bombo Highway. Eleven of these have been handed over to their relatives for a decent burial following a successful DNA analysis. The remains that came from the scene they were burnt beyond physical identification. So we had to take off samples and send them for DNA. So in summary, Total number of bodies so far handled, there are 24. The males are 18. The females are 6. According to the forensics pathologist Moses Biarohanga, three feet are still kept at the Mulago City mortuary as investigations continue to ascertain the relatives of the deceased. Meaning at least these are two bodies, because the body is supposed to have two feet. So we shall continue to keep these until when... Uh, people come up to claim, then we shall take off samples for DNA and we try to match them and we see to whom they belong. The driver of the fuel truck is still at large. However, preliminary investigations suggest that the explosion of the fuel tanker was sparked off by a charcoal stove that was in its vicinity. Uh, there was uh, a person who allegedly slipped while holding fuel forward in the charcoal stove and uh, the whole place caught a flame. I'd also like to appeal to the public to give information regarding the driver of the truck. Police is still hunting for the driver, so please give information to where the driver is. On several occasions, government has supported families that have lost their dear ones in different incidents across the country, including giving them money ranging from 5 to 10 million for those who have lost lives, while giving 1 million to those who are hospitalized. According to the State Minister for National Guidance, Godfrey Kabianga, this is not a policy, but it is on humanitarian basis. This is our government. The people who are affected are our people. So sometimes we decide, depending on the circumstances, even those who lost their, their property in this accident, we shall think about them from a humanitarian angle and from a point of them being Ugandans. It may not everything has to, you can't have a policy on each and everything. There are some things where you take a position as government on humanitarian grounds. It is not the first time such an incident is occurring in Uganda. In 2013, a fuel tank exploded in Namungona along the northern bypass in Kampala and over 33 people lost their lives. Most of those who died were those who attempted to tap fuel from the leaking fuel tank. Now it is advisable that whenever any vehicle carrying fuel is having a leakage, the public should inform the security agencies as soon as possible to respond to any form of eventuality. Ivan Kahwa, UBC News at Mulago City Mortuary.